This is WENY News. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Cody Carlson. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Breaking news out of Big Flats this morning. Police are searching for a man who ran from a traffic stop last night. Now, just after 9 o'clock on Monday night, police pulled over a woman driving along Route 352. That's when a male passenger jumped out of the car and ran towards the river. When our reporter arrived on scene around 10 p.m., several cop cars were stopped at the soccer fields across from Oldies But Goodies. Police told WENY News they were actively searching for a suspect and said water could be involved. Just after 1 o'clock this morning, cop cars were driving around the area and police were seen searching the area with spotlights. Around 2 a.m., a boat arrived on scene and made its way to the river behind the soccer fields. Now, this is a developing story. We will bring you any information as it becomes available. Well, first there was right, I'm sorry, first there was right on red, and now there is ride on red. The new traffic law passed in Pennsylvania allows drivers to go through red lights as long as no one is coming the other way. This takes away the problem of unresponsive red lights, which was originally a problem for small cars, motorcycles, or a horse and buggy. The law was eventually expanded to include all vehicles. The bill, officially known as Act 101, passed through the House last October. We'll take a look at this number, 4,098. That's how many tickets were given out during the New York State Police crackdown on DWIs during Super Bowl weekend. Across the state, 210 people were arrested for driving while intoxicated. The checkpoints also targeted aggressive and reckless drivers. Just under 1,500 people were given tickets for speeding. Now here are the breakdown numbers for the Southern Tier. 7 DWIs, 133 speeding tickets, 5 distracted driving tickets, 8 child restraint and seatbelt violations, and 5 move over tickets. A total of 348 tickets, which includes other violations not listed, were given out during Super Bowl weekend in the Southern Tier. Well, the president of the Corning Museum of Glass is taking on a bigger role. Carol White, who is also the executive director, was appointed by former President Obama to the State Department's Cultural Property Advisory Committee. Now, this committee is in charge of advising the White House on the establishment of memorandum of understanding pertaining to cultural heritage resources. Their goal is to make sure an ancient object isn't illegally removed overseas and, take it, and taken from its country. White will serve a three-year term. Well, according to new research, scientists in New York suggest the sea level along the state's coastline could rise six feet by the end of the century. Now the state is working to help local governments and businesses prepare for the worst. In 2014, a law was signed to require the state to adopt official projections of sea level rise. This allows everyone to prepare for a potential disaster. The commissioner of the DEC announced the results earlier this month and says the state is already being impacted by climate change. Well, health officials across the U.S. continue to urge people to get their flu vaccines as the virus spreads in 40 states and Puerto Rico. The latest report from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says over 14,000 cases of influenza have been reported across the country. 51 of 54 U.S. states and territories are experiencing elevated levels of flu and flu-like illnesses. Here in New York State, 61 counties reported cases of the flu last week, according to the Department of Health. Influenza is a highly contagious viral infection and is more severe than the common code. Cold. Symptoms include a fever or chills, headache, and muscle soreness. Well, Michael Flynn is now one of the shortest serving senior presidential advisors in modern history. The embattled White House National Security Advisor resigned last night after less than a month into the job. This comes after reports that Flynn misled administration officials about his communications with the Russian ambassador to the United States and was potentially vulnerable to blackmail by the Russians. The Justice Department allegedly warned the Trump administration last month. Flynn was not able to debunk the story that his conversations with the Russian ambassador included communication about the sanctions. It is illegal for unauthorized private citizens to negotiate with foreign government on behalf of the U.S. And now here's Craig Flint with a look at today's forecast. Good morning, Craig. It's no big deal. I'll find somebody else. He wasn't worth it anyway. Uh, anyway, here's your forecast today. By the way, I'm not making fun of him. I'm making fun of the people who make fun of him, just for the record. Uh, so your forecast on this Valentine's Day, partial sun, pretty sweet day with a high of 42. Then overnight tonight, clouds increase. There's an opportunity for an inconsequential rain or snow shower with a low of 29 or 30.
have a look at your weekend because you are going to have a case of spring fever around here Saturday with highs up near 50 and even Sunday well into the 40s. And here's why. So got some ridging at the jet stream level here in the east. What that does is displaces the colder air to points west over the western part of the United States. And you remember back to high school physics? What goes up must come down and vice versa. Well, obviously we're on the upswing here in the east uh, as we head into late this week and even into next week. And not bad today, no slouch temperature-wise in the 40s with a partially sunny sky. Over the southern tier, a high of 42 or 44 for Elmira. And then as we head up into the Finger Lakes, the clouds will tend to thicken up late in the day. High temperatures in the mid-40s. There's low pressure uh, working its way into Ontario, Canada. And that will uh, provide its way or move its way to the south and east uh, as we head into the overnight tonight with a little bit of light snow or rain overnight tonight. During the day, though, not much is going on. You can see some unsettled weather down to the south uh, over Texas. Deep in the heart of Texas. Here's your seven. You know it, Leanne? I don't know the words. But just you know the song? Yes. Okay. Seven-day forecast right there on your fancy tablet or computer screen or wherever you're watching us. Could be anywhere. 42 today and then 30s with scattered snow around Wednesday and Thursday along with busy breezes. Still a Feb chill on Friday, 32, and there's your spring fever, Cody, uh, as we head into the weekend. Looks great. All right, thanks, Craig. And for the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WBNY News at noon, 5, 36, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Cody Carlson. Have a great day and happy Valentine's Day.